in order to find the length of a curve or the arc length of a function between two points, what we need is that function as well as the interval. So here we've been given the question to find the arc length of this function in this interval. And this is the formula that we use to do this. So the first step is to differentiate our function. So if this is f of x, then dy dx is going to be 1 over 2, 1 over 2x minus 1 over 2 or minus x over 2 because x squared differentiated is 2x and 2 over 4 is 1 over 2. So minus 1 over 2x or minus x over 2. Okay, then we need to square that. So dy dx squared gives us this. It's this now squared, which is, first we square the first term, or let's take out a 1 over 2 first, which is going to be squared, and then we have a 1 over x minus x needing to be squared as well. So then, 1 over 2 squared is 1 over 4, and this squared is going to be 1 over x squared, and then 1 over x times by x is just 1. So that's negative 1, because there's also a negative here. So then times by 2 is negative 2, and then that squared is plus x squared. Okay, and now we need to add a 1 to this. So we've done the derivative, we've squared it, and now we need to add a 1. So now we have dy dx squared plus 1 is equal to, and then we'll distribute this 1 over 4 now, and we have 1 over 4x squared, and then 1 over 4 times by negative 2 is minus 2 over 4, which is just negative 1 over 2. And then we're adding a 1, so negative 1 over 2 plus 1 is just 1 over 2, so plus 1 over 2, and then plus x squared over 4. Now, to do the common denominator, to make this into one fraction, what we have is 4x squared. So this will just stay as 1. And then to make this 2 into 4x squared, we have to times by 2x squared, so plus 2x squared, because we times the numerator 1 by 2x squared. And then to make this 4 into 4x squared, we times by x squared. So what do you do the de to the denominator? We do to the numerator. So now x squared times x squared is x to the power of 4. Okay, so that's very interesting now, because this is a square. It's the same as saying x squared plus 1 all squared. And this denominator, 2 is a square. It's the same as saying 2x all squared. And to check this numerator, x squared squared is going to be x to the power of 4, and then x squared times by 1 is x squared, so times by 2, so plus 2x squared, and then 1 squared is plus 1, and we see that equals that. So that makes sense. So here we have now x squared plus 1 over 2x all squared. So we've done the derivative, we've done the square, and we've added the 1. Now we need to root it. So, if we copy this here, that's what that's equal to. So now if we do the square root, we're just left with x squared plus 1 over 2x. But now we're told that we need to do the derivative, or the integral, from 1 to e of this function. So, we say, now, the integral from 1 to e of x squared plus 1 over 2x dx to find the arc length of this function between 1 and e. So now, x squared plus 1 over 2x this is, is the same as saying x over 2 plus 1 over 2x. And we can take 1 over 2 out as a common factor. And what we're left with is 1 over 2 into the integral from 1 to e of x plus 1 over x. And this solved is 1 over 2 into, so the integral of x is going to be x squared over 2, and the integral of 1 over x is going to be the natural log of x, and this goes from 1 to e. So, continuing, we have to distribute this e, and so what we have is e squared over 2 plus the natural log of e, and the natural log of e is just 1, so plus 1, 
and then minus, we distribute the one, and then one squared over two is going to be one over two, and then plus the natural log of one, which is just zero. So plus zero, so that's zero. So now, taking this further, we have one over two into e squared over two plus one minus one over two. And that becomes plus one over two. And then we take out this one over two, this here, we can take it out. And then we have one over two times by one over two, which is just then one over four into e squared plus one. And that's the final arc length of this function. So the answer to what is the arc, what is the length of the curve y equals to 1 over 2 natural log of x minus 1 over 4 x squared on the interval from 1 to e is going to be 1 over 4 into e squared plus 1. If you did enjoy this video and you, held, and you found it useful, then please don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Thank you.